Okay, welcome to part three of the Octopi Pi 4 8 gig Octoprint server build. Um, today we're going to go through cameras actually and maybe a few plugins. Um, as many of you saw, I plugged in a camera cable to the Raspberry Pi 4 in the last video, um, but didn't actually plug it into a camera. That's because I was waiting for it to show up. It showed up. This is an Arducam 5 megapixel. Um, I've got this to replace my old USB cam here, which was just a cheap $25 one off of Amazon. Uh, this is a 1080p autofocus. It actually worked pretty well, so we'll be able to compare that one to this one. Uh, real quick though, let's just get it built and go through that. Peel off all this plastic it nice and clear. Throw all that into the iteration bin. Okay, now let's see about getting it put together. First, we're gonna take that and it goes to this mounting plate. We'll stick a screw through it. And then another screw through it, just to keep it centered. And flip it over. Now you got a bunch of these little nuts. You're gonna need two on each one, but only one for right now. Go ahead and add the other two screws. And run the nuts down. Now we're going to need a little Phillips head screwdriver and probably just a little pair of pliers will work. And we'll just snug these down. You don't need to go too hard or anything like that. It's just to help keep it in place. There we go. Now we need to take the legs. And here you can decide if you're going to want it pointing down or pointing up. Can you see that angle there? And then you take both the legs and then the back plate here. Get it all lined up. Can be a little tricky. So when you do, it'll basically pop all together just like that. And then you take your last remaining nuts and put a couple of them on.
And before you tighten those down, take the bottom plate and just kind of pop it into place. Now you can just take your pliers and again just snug these up because you don't need to go too tight. Keeps it all held together. Perfect. Now let's take a close look. Now I'm going to hook that up to the cable that's in the printer enclosure, which is right below there. And we'll do some configuration and testing back to back, see how these two cameras actually do against each other. Alright, next thing we need to do is come in and check the configuration of your Octopi. So let's go ahead and SSH back into your Octopi. SSH. Uh, at whatever your IP address is. Mine, I actually have local DNS now set up for it, so I can just say Octocrack. And the default password is just Raspberry. Now, what we want to take a look at is the actual boot file for the Octopi, which sets up a lot of it. So if you do a sudo nano slash boot octopi.txt, type in the password again, type it correctly, and then the big thing that you want to do is come in here and check this camera auto. You can notice above it that it can either do the USB or Raspberry Pi. The R Arducam uh, shows up as USB, and so I just leave this set as camera auto. The next thing you might want to take a look at is down here and your camera settings. You can try to push this up to 1980 by 720 or 1980 by 1080. Uh, 1280 by 720 is 720p. I set it at 30 frames and the quality of 100. If you're using a Raspberry Pi cam, you would comment that out and come down to the bottom. And you'll see right here is the settings for those. If you do change anything here, you will need to save it, which is Control O and Control X to exit. And then you would want to reboot your Raspberry Pi. Let's jump over to the interface or Octoprint interface. Let's go ahead and take a look at the camera and make sure it's showing up and it's showing up just great. Uh, the picture looks pretty good. We'll go on and before we move too much farther, I'm going to jump into a few things that I didn't cover in the last video, which is some of the plugins that I go ahead and use pretty much right off the bat. If you go up to your settings, and you can go to Plugin Manager, you can see all of your installed plugins. Or you can say, Get More. And see a whole bunch of ones that are available from the different community. Couple of the ones that I want to go over though real quick is I use the bed level visualizer. This basically pulls the mesh of your bed level and pulls it into Octoprint so that you can see it and make sure that it looks really good. Now if I go over to mine just to show you, you can see it's pretty much all green and looks pretty flat. That's a lot to do with my VL Touch mod and me spending some time getting it there. Speaking of the BL Touch, that's one of the next plugins I do. And you can find any of these plugins at plugins.octoprint.org. This will add in the BL Touch 
buttons down here that allows you to control the probe and do some of the different self-tests, which is great. The next one I like to use is the G-Code Viewer, which if you upload a model, you can actually watch your printer print and what moves it's going to make and sync it up with the next layers. This is a really awesome one to use. The next, time, the next one I really like to use is the Print Time Genius. It usually just tends to be really much better at choosing the actual print time versus the built-in one. And the last one I'm going to mention real quick is Themify. Uh, Themify is what gives you this nice cool look to Octoprint, and it has different, several different themes that you can actually pick and take a look at. So, let's move on to some other stuff. Um, I'm going to set this up to do some time lapses. And I did some time lapses with the exact same print with the old camera. And I'm going to put them up here for you guys right next to each other and we'll see how they do. Honestly, hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna go be go back to the USB camera. Um, I think I was getting better quality out of it. I could probably get some different lenses for this one for the Ardu cam, um, and see how it goes from there. Which I might actually do because they're fairly cheap. But for now, it actually seems like the cheap USB camera was the better way to go. So, tell me what you guys think. Thumbs up, thumbs down on the Ardu cam um, versus the USB camera, and. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, and that's it. Have a great day.